here, my friends. Good evening. Welcome to another English class. Um, let's see who we have here. So in that way, we can start. Hello, uh, Miguel, right? I'm here, teacher. I'm ready. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for being here, uh, Miguel. Let's see who else. Let me check here. We have also Roxana. We have Roberto, so it's nice. We are doing like good. Let me check something here before we start. Teacher, una pregunta, teacher. Adelante, please. Este, en el caso de diciembre, seguiríamos las clases hasta cuándo más o menos. Yo le digo porque como nos dan vacaciones, de mi caso, ¿verdad? De 15 días, entonces no sé. No oh, sé si se pues, seguido. Pues en mi, según mi experiencia, en los dos años que tengo que que tengo con inglés corporativo, nunca se ha trabajado diciembre con los eh, cursos de inglés para el trabajo uh, intensivos, así como ustedes. Hay otros cursos que son sábados y domingos, pero son especiales de ellos. So I don't think uh, you can continue in December. No creo que ustedes continúen en diciembre, continuarían hasta enero, en teoría. ¿Verdad? Porque sí. nosotros terminamos, you're welcome. Uh -huh. We are supposed to finish on, on 29. Me parece que terminaríamos el... Quiero ver. Sí, como creo que el 29. Ah, 29. Sí. Digo. Te estaba revisando y decía como 4 de diciembre. No. No, porque son 25 clases. Ah, y yo okay. inicié en la clase 8, me parece. Sí. Entonces yo tengo... Yo, según se me comentó, yo tenía que, tengo que dar 18 clases, más 7 que ya habían dado, hacen 25 clases. Uh -huh. Entonces, en diciembre, uh, no creo que, 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 que lleven curso, porque sería intermedio, serían 25 clases. No. No, entonces, okay. este, este sería el último. Ajá. En teoría, o inician a mediados de enero o a finales de enero. Mm -hmm. That's okay. the plan. Okay, Same. so relax. Like relax, Miguel. Okay. Yeah, you can dance because cumbia. In... With my family. Definitely, I know. I know it, it is necessary, my friend. Definitely. So, well, okay. thank you. Mm -hmm. So, don't worry. Okay. So, but thank you okay. for asking. Thank you for asking. Okay, let's see. Um, here we have also Denise. Hello, Denise. Good evening. Um, here we have Freddy's. Hello there. Hi. You are, you are, Hello, um, teacher. thank you, Freddy. Uh, you have your fan turned on, right, Denise? I guess it's kind of hot there, right? As you mentioned. <laughs> yes, every day is hot. <laughs> every day, is, I, I can imagine. So, well, uh, let's see, Ernest. Hello, good evening. We have also... Good evening, teacher. Hello. Thank you for asking, for, for answering, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, let's see, yes, Alberto, Roxana, Roberto, Alex, Raquel... Let's see, Majo is listener, Nancy, Morelia listener. Okay, class number 19. After this class, we're going to have just what? Let me check. Six classes. 
six classes and we say goodbye because we're going to start December and that's the month that I like a lot. I don't know in your case, Miguel likes December. I guess you like December, right? So, um, so we have to be happy. Come on. We have to be like very positive because we're about to finish this module and it is possible that I'm not going to see you again because uh, commonly uh, it is very strange when we repeat uh, groups. Uh, so English Corporativo tries to change the teachers. But well, it has been a nice group and let's continue. Okay. Here we have common English idioms. That is something that uh, English learners like a lot because it is kind of phrases that native speakers, los hablantes nativos, native speakers use a lot. For example, here in El Salvador, we use de voladas, dos que tres. We use, okay, um, different words, there are different expressions, right? That formal Spanish are not so common, right? Uh, when some the grandmas say, the grandmothers say, utualito, apiate, something like very strange, and we understand. Maybe we don't use these phrases, but we understand. So, this is like common English idioms that are related to the same um, function, okay? Just take a look at this, one moment. So I'm going to uh, call you one by one. Remember here we have the first one. It is like break a leg. Rompete una pierna. It is uh, when you want to say good luck to somebody. Definitely you can say good luck. But uh, these English idioms are part of the native language. Make a long story short. Tell something briefly. Speak of the devil. Uh, the person we were just talking about shows up. Uh, we can say, hablando del rey de Roma, or we can say, hablando del diablo. So that's it. When a person, especially it happens in, in the companies, when you're talking about another person, maybe an employee, your colleague, and then appears. No pain, no gain. You have to work for what you want. This is very common in the gyms, right? When you go to the gym, there are some phrases like this. That's the low straw. That's the last straw. My patience has run out. Okay. Cost an arm and a leg. Very expensive. Don't cry over spilled milk. There's no reason to complain about uh, maybe some, there are some guys or girls that they are like crying or complaining about something in the past. But now, yeah. It's the present and go ahead. And the last one, uh, something that can be fixed. Yeah, don't cry over spilled milk. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, here we have. Just give me a second. I don't know what is going on with this. And there are some lists.
Okay. Um, remember, as always, I'm going to call you one by one and please mention one of these phrases. Alex is not available. Ana Raquel, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Vicky. I don't know if Vicky is there. Okay. If not, Brandon. President, teacher. Hello, Brandon. No pain. No gain. Thank you, um, Denise. Hi there. Yes. Um, don't cry over spilled milk. Thank you, Freddy's. Um, present speak on the devil, devil, the devil. devil. Okay, mm -hmm. that's it. Albert, hi, present. Check with me, break a leg. Break a leg. Thank you. What about Ernest? Or present, uh, don't cry over split milk. Thank you. Split milk, filled. Uh huh. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, spilled milk. It is when. Mm -hmm. No llores sobre leche derramada. Thank Derramado. you. Bajo. Well, Majo is not available now, but maybe later. Maritza. No, Maritza. Okay. Um, Miguel. Hi, Miguel. Present teacher, Bray Alec. Thank you, Morelia. Ah. Also. Thank you. Uh, Nancy? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, no pain, no, no gain. No pain, no gain. Thank you. Okay. Um, Robert? Good evening, teacher. Good Goes evening. An arm and a leg. Perfect. And Roxana? Something that can be fixed. Fix it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bueno, esa es la, la, la explicación. Sería, don't cry over uh, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that th I'm this sorry. appears like this. Mm -hmm. Yes. No problem. Okay, my friends. Let's move to this first speaking activity that we have, we have experienced different uh, moments in our life and some of them are related to other person or to other people or to some situations. Mention one moment in your life you would like to erase. You can say, okay, I know that all the moments are important because we are part, all those moments are part of our experience. But definitely there are some moments that can be erased. Imagínense eliminar ese momento. So, it is not a bad memory. Okay? So, tell me one of the moments that, uh, that you would like to erase if you have the capacity, if you have the opportunity to erase that moment and don't remember anything about that moment. Okay? I'm going to be checking um, in the chat and then we read all your answers.
Okay, let's see. Um, here we have like nice uh, opinions. Here we have the first person, Albert, and then Ernest. Okay, Alberto, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Did I accept accepted the limit by driving intoxicant drink and the kind allergic because I did. Not consider the limit. Yeah. Okay. That's that's very common, especially for young, uh, for for guys, for young people. But come on. After this day or this night, uh, Alberto, did you go to the hospital or to the clinic or something like this, or just with electrolyte and Gatorade you recover, or sopita the pollo, and then you recover. No hospital. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah it is like this even when you are intoxicated uh, the, the recommendation uh, is going to the hospital mm -hmm. a very a very bad experience that happened mm -hmm. I know and we have to learn by those experiences I, ha I consider that all of us have exceeded in some aspects Maybe driving the limit of speed, drinking alcohol, or eating a lot of foods. There are some people that they eat because the maybe the food is free. They take advantage of that, and the 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 excess it is like it is like dangerous. Thank you, Albert. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Ernest you. and then Fredis. Good. I would like to raise yesterday when okay. I shared my embarrassing photo with all the class. Okay. <laughs> well, you included me, Ernest, because I was there. I also I was there, but yeah, your photo was very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Ernest. Yeah, well, that was an embarrassing moment, definitely. Thank you, uh, Miguel, and then Roxanne. Me teacher, verdad? Yes, my friend. Miguel. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and my opinion is that word is, is um, okay. We all have uh, some things we wanted to raise beat or pass or offending or parent, friend, family, uh, children, so many things that one does, uh, that one later read. But the truth is, I think, happens to all of us. Of us. Yes, uh, thank you, Miguel. Okay, remember, friends, amigos, friends. It's friends. interesting, yeah, how, what you say, it is true. Even you are not mentioning something specific like anecdote or something that happened to you. It is true. Sometimes we uh, discuss or argue with our parents. Yeah, sometimes we fail with our family, friends. Yeah, maybe it depends on our behavior. Okay. Mm, but yeah, it happens, right? And then we regret. Then no arrepentimos. 
Thank you, Roxana and Morelia. Okay. I erase when once I fell in the parking lot at work, there are some club stones and the heel of my shoe got stuck and the heel remained on the club stone and I fell. It was very embarrassing for me because there were several people looking. Oh, come on. Yes. Yeah, definitely. And what about you? your high heel? It was destroyed. Your shoe? Yes. Oh. Also, the, la tapita. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how the tapita uh, stay in the... <laughs> in stay in, in the, the, the cobblestone. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And yeah. I and I scrape my knee. Mm -hmm. Also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. The the heel. The the heel that the heel stuff. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Did you hurt? Did you have like some injury? I don't know. Any pain? Because it is difficult to walk with high heels. But when you fell, it is like your ankle. Uh, Tobia, your ankle sometimes it it hurts. But nothing happens. Yes, too much. Ah, okay. I raspe la rodilla, me raspe. Okay, yes. Yeah. Your knee. Yes. Your knee, knee was injured. Yes. Okay, I'm so yes. sorry. Yeah, and believe me, when you are a kid <laughs> and you fall down, it is not a problem. But when you are adult, it is embarrassing. It is. Yes, it is it's ugly. embarrassing. It is ugly, <laughs> and the worst <laughs> thing is when there are public. When there are yes. there are when there are people, okay. When there is a public or there are yeah audience is like you are you don't want to see anybody. No, it was so embarrassing. Yes, it happened to me in front of people. <laughs> well, come on, thank you. Uh, maybe okay. Morelia, and then Raquel. Okay. Um. I arrived when I called a dog by his owner's name. Come on. It was from our thing. Yeah. yeah. The customer's name is Cosmo. I think that I had a great time to be the Cosmo is the, the name of the person. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it, it sounds and like a pet's name, definitely. The pet's name is Cachito. Okay. And it was the second time in the hotel model. So I was confused. Yeah, it is like very embarrassing. Okay. And the mm -hmm. owner was uh, angry or something like that? No, he loud and told me that she Okay. Yeah, oh my God. That's the I'm so sorry. <laughs> but. Get that. Um, but that that is because the Cosmo is a very strange name. It is not a common name for a person. This is the first mm -hmm. time that I hear that Cosmo is the name of a person. I just okay. think Spain and Sabrina's Mexico. Yes, and okay. um, his nationality is Venezuela. I'm sorry, I, I hear that? you, but far away. I can hear you clearly. Okay. Uh, the customer is the Netherlands. Okay. So his name is Cosmo. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah that, 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 that's one of the reasons. He's not from Salvador, so that's why. Yes. Okay. That was so embarrassing. Cosmo. Come on. Okay. Thank you, Morelia. More Morelia and Cosmos. Thank you. Okay, uh, Raquel and Nancy. A moment in my life, I would like where it is when I fell from a cash tree. I broke my ankle. I had to have a surgery. I love the year of studies. Yeah, the surgery. Yeah, you have a surgery. Okay. And this is very dangerous, the ankle, the knee, uh, because, uh, well, I guess it happened when you were young, Raquel, but when you are adult and you have an accident like this, it, there are possibilities 
uh, in which you are not going to be good in the future days. Yeah, it happened so well. And something bad that happened uh, after that is that you lost uh, that year of sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, in the past it was like that. Now we have more opportunities for for students. Okay, yeah. Nancy and Denise. Okay, I rise when the moment in which I learning learned to smoke. Really? Uh, mm -hmm. and so I no longer smoke today. The moment when I did it was when I was 18 years old mm -hmm. and I stopped doing it uh, two years, years later. later. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, stop. Ese verbo en pasado es complicado. Stop. Okay, but thank you, Nancy. Well, uh, you are very brave because stop smoking, it's difficult. Especially when you are dependent or you depend on, on, on this, uh, on the on the cigarettes. But come on, Nancy. Uh, this is something that a lot of uh, adolescents uh, experience. Okay, that, that's part of, of discovering the world. It is not good, definitely. But well, now that you mentioned, yeah, two years, it is it is good that you stop this uh addiction. Thank you, Nancy. Very nice. And Denise. Yes, uh, I would like to raise a discussion that I had with my boss because I think that makes the situation get worse between us and and the team. <laughs> My team. Denise, but are you angry or are you no. conflicted because you look very relaxed? No, I don't. But I maybe don't. It, it was an extreme situation. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it, I, I tried to stay, to stay calm, but I couldn't. Yeah. And I just def defend. I tried mm -hmm. to defend my point of view and, and what I was saying and then and the situation gets worse and worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, and it happens especially when maybe you got the reason. You are right. But the other person, because he is uh, or she is in a higher level, maybe that person is very firm and he or she says, okay, no, it is not true. And that then when the conflict gets the worse. Mm -hmm. yeah, I actually, actually, he got fired recently because... Uh, he had a lot of problems with all the people, all people, all the teams, not oh. only me and, and my team. I mean, mm -hmm. He had problems with everybody. Yeah, so at the end, these kind of employees are like, they accumulate a lot of warnings uh, uh, or mm -hmm. they, they, they a lot of complaints. And at the end, they are fired, definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> Well, but I know that, that that's very stressful, very tense discussion. Well, it's an argue or argument. Thank you. Um, when we say discuss, Denise and I, we can discuss some things. For example, let's discuss uh, about a party. Freddy and I can discuss about music, but it doesn't mean that we're fighting. It means that we are sharing opinions. But when we say argue, argue, yes, it's like fighting, but with words. So Denise was arguing. Yes. <laughs> with, <laughs> okay. with her ex, ex boss, ex boss. Ex no, 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 other thing. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, come on, teacher, what are you saying? Okay. Um, argument, it, it is a, a very heavy discussion or hard discussion. Uh, when you say regret, uh, is um, mm, regret is arrepentirse. You regret some things. Um, actually is realmente, currently is actualmente. Even actually looks like actualmente, it is not. It is current or currently. Okay, um, so that's it. Part of the situation that you have uh, had. I know that you're very brave. Uh, 
because you, you are sharing your experiences. So muy valiente. Thank you. I appreciate when you give your opinions, when you give your points. And so, well, I know it is not, it was not so easy. Okay, I don't know. Maybe we have, we have the others. I don't know if you have some um, anecdotes. For example, Roberto. I don't know, or Brandon. Because I, or Vicky, I don't see your answers here. Maybe you are ready. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to erase an um, embarrassing day when I gave a presentation on Facebook Live and realized until it had finished, it was embar embarrassing. Embarrassing, okay. Embarrassing. Um because oh. my friends could have told me to correct it, but... Uh, they didn't? Yes, they didn't. Oh, come on. So they're not your real friends, but... <laughs> Only when I finish the presentation. <laughs> yeah, I know. And <laughs> if you don't notice it, it is like you are very sure about what you're saying. And, wow, well, yeah, it's embarrassing. Come on. And... <laughs> Especially on Facebook Live, because yeah. you can erase things. Okay, you can change things. It is like that. Thank you, Vicky. Okay, what about Robert or Brandon? I don't know if you're ready. Okay, if not, we move. Maybe later they can um, participate because they normally participate a lot. Okay, let's move to this. And here we have, look, this is something that we have studied before. Uh, look at the examples. Uh, use the superlative forms of adjectives to compare more than two persons or things in a group. Uh, importante. Para decir personas o gente se dice people. Pero para decir dos personas pueden decir two persons. Solo en ese caso. Pero tres personas no. Is three people, four people. Pero para dos, si pueden decir persons. Okay. Um, I need you to help me reading uh, these examples. Here we have the first one. What about if we start with Miguel? Um, I will show you, Miguel. Please. What teacher? What do you can, say? I don't understand. Can you read this, please? Jack is the fastest. Ah, read yeah, the three sentences. Uh, Jack is the fastest server. Mm -hmm. That was the saddest moment in the chief. The busiest hour is during lunch. lunch. Thank you. Thank you so much. And here we have uh, this part that this is like a long adjective. Can you read it, please, Miguel? The most interesting. The most interesting. Customer coming to our restaurant. Thank you. Okay. Here we have the, the exceptions. That is when you say, for example, uh, good. Read that? No. No, this is for Freddy's. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you for your participation. Okay, Freddy's. Okay. Kitchen. Kitchen manager how the best schedule. Good. I usually receive the work tips tips okay thank you uh for the superlative we already know this right that we use the superlative form one syllable adjective is made of the plus adjective plus est o sea, solo le agregamos est, right adjectives that are two or more syllables uh use the most right just sabemos verdad est or the most and here we have adjectives like good and bad are called irregular adjectives because their superlative forms do not follow this rule. No siguen esta regla. Mm -hmm. We don't have like difficulties because you already know this. We have uh, worked in, with different exercises. Okay, so let's move.
Okay. Underline the correct words or phrase. I'm going to give you like a couple of seconds. Take a look and then we're going to uh, participate. We have five options. Number one, the most important thing is to find a substitute for sick employees. I'm going to give a couple of seconds. Please try to have two or three options, always. Okay, and we're going to start in this case with Nancy. And after Nancy, we go with Roxana. Okay, Nancy, select one. What number? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important. Um, number one is taken. Taken. Sí, esa ya está, ya está hecha. From two to six. Do you need time? Okay, I'm going to give you time. Okay, let's go with uh, Roxana and then Vicky. Okay, Roxana. Okay, let, let me see. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds just for you to take a look yes, at this. Yes, please. Yes. Okay, no problem. Okay, Roxana, we are ready. Right. No, no, I'm confused. Okay, no problem. Let's move with uh, Vicky or Denise. And the number six, I think, is, is the kitchen manager wars lunges chips chips work. Uh, it could be uh, the longest. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Chips. Mm -hmm. No problem. Thank you, Denise. And then we go with, let me check, uh, Roberto. Okay, the number two. Mm -hmm. Don't use the best schedules as a reward. Thank you. What about uh, Roberto? And then we go with Ernest. Yes, teacher. Uh, number three. It could be Jane. Jane is the fastest waitress. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Ernest. And then we go with Freddy. Ernest, are you there? Yes, yes, I am teacher. Um, Four or five. I think I think delivery orders are the most popular mm -hmm. right now. Thank you. Yeah, the most popular right now. Okay. That's correct. Thank you. 
Uh, Freddy's, what about you, number five? This restaurant. Uh, the restaurant has the most pretty decoration. Thank you. Well, almost, casi, casi. So they're the prettiest. Mm -hmm. The prettiest decorations. And these are superlatives, okay? Decoration. So no superlatives. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, let's move with the other parts of this. Teacher, I have a yes. question. Uh, goodest is a right uh, superlative. The goodest schedules. Uh, yeah. The, the, the point is that we have exceptions. For example, uh, good are irregular adjectives. Son la excepción a la regla. Good. Better. The best. We don't say the goodest or gooder. Mm -mm. It is like exception. It is different. But the other adjectives, yes, that is we have we apply to the rule. Okay. The other uh is bad. Worse. The worst. These are uh, only the two cases that they are exceptions. Son la excepción. Las demás le agregamos es, t, si es corto o the most. Si son adjetivos largos. Okay, guys. Um, let's move because we have to advance with this. Even this is very simple, very easy. But well, anyway, and here we have this exercise. Okay, here we have this. Which of these strategies, strategies, or puede ser con R, strategies, do you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Remember, overstaffing is when you have a lot of employees, and that is when you have like too, too many people working. And understaffing is when you have few people but you need more people because there are a lot of work, but there are just few people working, okay? And let's listen to some of this. We're going to start with Roxana. Can you read number one, please? Just read. And then we go with yes. Nancy. Number Provide two. Okay. Provide the schedule to your employees quickly. Thank you. Okay, Nancy, read number two, and then Freddy's number three. Okay, Nancy, two, read. Send a method to communicate. To communicate. To communicate. Uh, quickly, quickly with employees. Thank you. Okay, Freddy's, and then we go with Miguel. Three, Freddy's. Um, take working preferences into account. Into account. Thank you. Very nice. And here we have Miguel, number four. Okay. A sketch of having your employees strength in mind. In mind. Mm -hmm. In mind. In Thank mind. you. In mind. Yeah, that's it. Vicky, number five. Allow for the change in the schedule. Thank you. And then is number six. Prevent absenteeism <laughs> using phone Ascent, reminders. Absenteeism mm -hmm. <laughs> using phone reminders. Thank you. So there are six, listen, there are six um, options or strategies to uh, avoid, para evitar overstaffing uh, or understaffing. Number one, provide the schedule to your employees quickly. ¿Verdad? Dar la agenda o la calendarización rápido. Find a method to communicate. Yeah, taking work preference into account. Schedule, having your employees strengths in mind. 
allow for changes in schedule, prevent absenteeism using for reminders. Please, just write in the chat one, two, or six. What do you consider is the best strategy to avoid? Or what is the strategy to have the correct number of employees working successfully? Mm -hmm. Just write one, or if you consider it's number six or three, do it, please. We're going to have here like a votation and we're going to check what is the the best strategy. Yes, Denise, you have a, a Sir, comment or question? Yes, I have, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the meaning of absentism? Um, it's like ausentism. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. when, when some work, you are working for the, your, the employees and they are not coming. They are not here working, so hey. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Problem? No problem. Remember, there are some absenteeism sure. in meetings or in some other types of activities. Yes, Robert. I don't understand the number three. Okay. Take Say work working in preferences, preferences in account. Into account. Mm -hmm. yes. eh, tomar las preferencias laborales en cuenta. Okay. It can be related to maybe to the skills. Could it be, uh, remember when you have an agenda or schedule or when you provide and uh, you take uh, preferences working, it is like when they have the correct skills, the correct um, uh, abilities to do it. So you select the people that work better. Okay, so that's it. Okay, just write one number from one to six and let's see what do you consider is the best strategy to avoid overstaffing or understaffing. Okay, tell me one number. I want to see what is the the strategy that you consider works better from one to six. For example, if you consider that it's number six, just write six. Me teacher, for me it's number four. Number four. Yes. Okay, let's do something. Okay, let's see here. Number four. Okay, and Denise and Freddy's. What number? I choose the fourth. Ah, oh, number four. Yeah, sorry. Uh, now I see uh, Freddy's. Freddy's, you say number three, right? Number okay. three, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Robert and Vicky. Mm, number three. Okay, Robert. Uh, yes, number three. 
Ok. Nancy en Al Alberto. Number six. Six, ok. And Robert, eh, Albert en Raquel. Number three. Mm -hmm. Okay, we go with Raquel and then we go with Nancy. Okay, Nancy, I don't know if you're there. <clears throat> and then Roxana. Okay, Roxana. Number three, teacher. Three, okay, could it be number three? But if you notice, we have... <clears throat> Some other like number six, maybe number four schedule. Mm -hmm. Another uh, possible strategy. Remember that this depends on the environment, depends on the people, the employees. It is like this. Okay, guys, uh, here we have this. Take turns, practice this uh, model conversation, very short conversation. Um, kitchen manager and Mary, okay? And where is Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario, goodness. I got a call that he's very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have this. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover it him okay um maybe there are some this is um present perfect with should i'm going to explain in a moment okay look at this he should have called me directly. Él debió haberme llamado directamente. Ok, el have en este caso es el del verbo haber, no el verbo tener. Él debió haberme llamado. Ok, eh, I should have told you earlier. Yo debí haberte dicho antes. Esta estructura es un poquito rara. Uh -huh. um, Digamos, si nosotros, un ejemplo, should es debería, right? Pero si le quitamos el should acá, sería I have told you, yo te he dicho, ok? Pero con el should es yo debí haberte dicho, ok? Y la otra, I could have found a substitute. Yo pude haber encontrado un sustituto. Cuando vengamos después de la práctica, I'm going to explain you, le voy a explicar este tema de, del present perfect. Ok. So, relax. Here we have, I need you to have a screenshot. I don't know if Ernest, can you help me? ¿Puedes ayudarme, Ernest, with this? Maybe Ernest can help me. Or Vicky or Roxana, I don't know if you can help me by having like a screenshot. Necesito que tomen una captura porque ya no vamos a ir a la práctica de esta conversación. Ok, my friends. See you in a moment. Lo veo en un momento y luego explicamos lo del presente perfecto. Ok. So, thank you for the screenshot. Please accept the request. Remember to interchange dialogues 
interchange the conversation. Then when we come back, uh, we're going to have some exercises about the uh, simple present tense, okay? And the present perfect. Okay, I need you to accept the request, my friends, please. Okay, Freddy's, maybe you can accept. Also, Denise, Robert, thank you. Accept the request. Okay, nice. Freddy's, Raquel, maybe you can hear me. Let's see. Um, let's check. I don't know if you are there, Raquel. Sí, yo viví el martes temprano. Uh -huh. Finish. No, ok. Bueno. Let's again. Ok.
Okay, so in this case, uh, we're going to practice this and then we're going to focus on the grammar, okay? So for this, maybe we can have Robert's pronunciation. Who was your classmate, Robert? Let me check. It's Freddy's teacher. Freddy's, okay. Yeah. Okay, maybe Freddy's can be a okay. kitchen manager, number one. And you're number two. Okay. Where's Mario? He is late for his chief. Mario? Goodness. I gotta call that he is very sick. I should have told you early. Earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If the how call it to my phone. I could have phone and substitute by now. I have a time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Thank you very much. Okay. Teacher. Maybe we can have... Okay, that's nice. Thank you. We I have, have a some... question, teacher. Okay, go Good, ahead. Goodness. Goodness. Uh, goodness, it's an expression similar to when you say, my goodness. Es como dicen, Dios mío. It's like an expression, okay? Ah, okay. An idiomatics. You can say, Thank my you. goodness or goodness. It is like, oh, por Dios. It's like, oh my God, similar to that. Okay, uh, maybe we can have the pronunciation of Denise, who was your classmate? Me? Hi. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it. Please, I don't know who starts. Mm, no, sir. Denise, I can start. Okay, start, please. What is Mario? He is late for his chief. Mario, goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he have called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. So now we're going to, to talk about this strange uh, grammar structure. Um, okay. And here we have a question. How are employees monitored at your company? Mm, okay. How are employees monitored at your company? Uh, what kind of documentation is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job? Okay, maybe we can focus on uh, number one. Okay, how are employees monitored at your company? ¿Cómo los monitorea? How are the supervisors, managers, or coordinators monitoring or watching that you are doing a good job? Do you have maybe another sub-coordinator or something like that? Okay, we're going to talk about it uh, later. By now, we're going to have a listening exercise. Please, I need to pay attention. It's a conversation, okay? So take notes about the information that you can listen. I, I'm pretty sure that you're going to listen and you're going to identify a lot of words. Just give me a second because I have to prepare this. Okay, it's a conversation of 28 seconds. We're going to listen two times. Excuse me. Yes. Where's the library? The library is next to the registration office. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm new. Where's the registration office? No problem. See the building over there? Yes. Okay, so that's the lecture theater. Next to that, on the right, is the registration office. 
and next to that is the library. I see. Thanks. Okay, let's listen one more time. Hi, excuse me. Yes. Where's the library? The library is next to the registration office. Ah, sorry, I'm new. Where's the registration office? No problem. See the building over there? Yes. Okay, so that's the lecture theater. Next to that, on the right, is the registration office. And next to that is the library. I see. Thanks. Okay, um, let's listen. Uh, what do you have? Very simple, right? Uh, Alberto? Predis? Any words? Phrases? Yes, question for us because you know, because registration. Okay. No, no, no registration. Mm -hmm. Registration. Thank you. Predis, and then we go with um, Nancy. Okay, Predis. Predis, any word? Excuse me. <laughs> so, the registration office is only that it's a building oh, and okay. problem office. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Maybe we can have only more. That. Thank you. We can have Nancy. I don't know if you are there, Nancy. If not, we move now with um yes. Um she was looking for the library. Mm -hmm. Okay, she was asking for the library. Thank you. Mm, Vicky. The library is next to registration office. In the, the registration office next to the library. Okay, the re <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you. What about Denise? And um, uh, I remember that. The boy uh, told her where was the library. He said that um, it was next to the regist registration office and the next registration office was next to the theater, I think. Okay. Let's check and hear how this. Mm-hmm. Actually, the conversation starts with the greeting. Hi, excuse me, yes. So, yeah, definitely uh, this person is uh, looking for the library. And yes, as you mentioned, the library, well, it's next to the registration office. That is the phrase that you listened and you identified. Uh, but then the person asks, where is the reg registration office? And the other person says, uh, if that person sees the build, big building over there. So, lecture theater, as Denise said, yeah, next to that, to the right. So, it is like direction, instructions. Okay. Um, let's move to this. Um, I'm sorry, Freddy's, your. You're going to present your song, right? Tu presentarías la canción. Yes, teacher. Okay. Prepare your song. Prepara tu canción. Ya casi vas a pasar, okay? Okay. How are employees monitored at your company? Just tell me. Uh, do you have cameras or there is a, a, I don't know, a software in the computers? I don't know. How are you monitored? People are watching you closely, very close. Let's listen in this case to Roxana. How... No, I don't. I don't have a, a monitor. Really? Nobody, 
Yes. <laughs> Very nice. You are free. You are free. Like yes, it's free. easy because each one knows how, uh, how what to do. What Everybody to do, knows yes. what to do. They Everybody know their functions. And yes. uh, the employees are responsible. So that's important, right? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Roxana, okay. okay. Let's listen in this case to Vicky and then Robert. Uh, in my case, in the office, uh, don't have mon monitor. No monitor. The, mm. No, for the employees. Okay, thank you. Interesting. Very relaxed, similar to Roxana. Yes. Robert, and then we go. <laughs> yeah, why not? Easy, yeah. easy. Robert, and then Denise. Okay, Robert. Good teacher. Uh, in my own case, in the college, uh, there there are many cameras, but uh, we, but not in the classrooms. For example, in during los recreos, no sé cómo se dice. In the breaks or the recess. Mm -hmm. In the, the recess, recess, yes, uh, you, you can see the, the teachers and the students, right? Okay, and during the recess, we have to keep to the students and sometimes or some days in, in the class, we have some supervisors. Mm -hmm. this, is, this happens one... Once a year, time. maybe, or, or time two times. Oh, okay. In the moon, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Robert. Uh, Denise and then Freddy's. Uh, in my company, we don't we don't have um any. I I don't remember the, the word. I'm sorry. Uh, monitor, mon monitor yes. personnel. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, we don't have that. We just have a uh, application. And we register our, our work there. Mm -hmm. And only that. And that's it. Okay, that. thank you. Okay, good. Very nice. Freddy's, and then we're going to listen to Albert. Uh, in my case, sir, the thing is no monitoring because mm -hmm. the co worker is. Um, responsible uh -huh, they're responsible and do the do the job responsible right? for the result mm -hmm. okay thank you that's it thank you albert and then we go with miguel okay teacher in my company monitor monitor the big uh, by camera um supervisors Ah, okay, nice. You have cameras and supervisors. Thank you. Uh, Miguel and Ernest. Okay. Um, in, my, in my personal case, teacher, at my job, we don't have a monitor. Our boss has delegated to everyone what he is going to do. Mm -hmm. And he knows uh, that we are doing Mm -hmm. Okay, he knows no that you are doing your job, right? You are working. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, practically it is really good. Ernest, and then we go with, I don't know, if Morelia or Ma. Hi, teacher. In my case, uh, we have cameras uh, in each office. Okay, it is like that. Okay, you have cameras. And uh, so it is like you have to work right on the things that you have to do mm -hmm. yes. in any case. Thank you. I don't know if Maho or Morelia has something to say about this. If you are monitored. Mm -hmm. My boss has cameras. Mm -hmm. When we don't answer her messages, he speak through the, the cameras and says, uh, and it's something like, what are you doing? How is going there? Okay. So, or, it is, mm -hmm. or, so you, ha you have to um, answer quickly, right? In the case. In the yes. Case. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, Morelia. 
And I don't know, Maho, I guess uh, she's kind of busy, right? No problem. Let's move um, to what's the name of this song? Okay, um, Fredis, your turn, my friend. Okay, teacher. You are the teacher now, you are the boss. Oh. Is sure. Wow. This. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. The prom. The promise me song, not to do the thing. If done, walk away from trouble is you can is if you can I want me your week is you turn the other check cheek I hope you're all enough to understand since you don't have to think to be a man. You don't have to fight. Um, fight. To I, be don't a man. Have, I don't have any idea about this song. I don't know it. Maybe the others? It is country. <laughs> yeah, it is country, right? Yeah. This pronouns. Pronoun is word that uses in field of a noun or a noun phrase. The in in my case, me, you, it, you, 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 I, is you. Mm -hmm. The next bird, a word or phrase that describes an action. Promise, do, don't, walk away, can, turn, understand, have, find, and be. Okay. So lo que sería describe. Mm -hmm. Describe. A word okay. a phrase that describes. Thank you. Continue. You're doing good. Okay. Determinant. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that control or affect what happened in a particular situation is D and A. The proposition. In grammar, a word that used before a noun, a noun, phrase, or a pronoun connecting into another word is from, if, to. This adverb, a word that describes or gives more information about a verb, adjective, a verb, or phrase. Is a note, and that's it. The sure. okay, thank you. But before you finish, uh, does anybody know about this song? Because, mm -mm. yeah, teacher, it's a okay. great song of Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers, <laughs> is it like this? yeah, this is. Is power of song. The... Okay, I I have heard about Kenny Rogers, but I don't. I have not listened to much music, but I will. I this like country, country. is it's interesting song. Okay, I like country, but I have not heard this song. Thank you, Freddy. Very nice. Okay, good. Song. Good, Robert. You're really. Go yes, uh, he knows, he knows. Okay, um let's see. We have Denise, can you present your son tomorrow? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Maybe one special song that was like I don't know, maybe that you like, or maybe a recommendation. Or maybe somebody, I don't know, send you the link and yeah.
depends on you. The song that you want, okay? Thank okay. you. Thank you so much, uh, Denise. Okay, um, we continue with some other activity. Okay, um, we're going to study the present perfect. Yeah, but before we go with the present perfect, we're going to, okay, just give me a minute. Okay, here we have this uh, conversation. Here we have some, look at the conversation and complete the statements. Okay, um, here we have three. Okay, I'm going to present the, the conversation and you tell me what words are missing. One, two, three. Okay, look at this. I, you earlier, he, me, directly. If he had called to my phone, I substitute now. Okay, and here you have the conversation. Maybe we can start with Morelia. What number, Morelia? One, two, or three. And I present this uh, the conversation so we can complete the phrase. Sorry, may you repeat it? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to complete this phrase. These phrases. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What? Which one do, do you uh, select? I think number two. Okay, number two. He, me, directly. Here we have this. Is he should have called me directly. Yeah, that's it. He should have called me. You can say directly or directly. Yeah, both yeah. are okay. Thank you. Okay, we go now in this case with maybe um Vicky. okay miguel number one first i the you first, earlier i think so is uh should have told yeah i should have told you earlier that's it very nice thank you and here we have vicky maybe number three and um, the number three is i cool have found. Mm -hmm. cool. I have could found. have found. Thank you. I could have found. That's it. Thank you. That's of course. Okay. Um, we're going to move with some other activity. This is very easy. Well, practically. But before we, we do this, um, I have to present something. Tengo que enseñar para que tengan más clara esta idea de qué estamos haciendo acá. Let me check. Okay. Okay, look at this. I know that you already have an idea about the present, past, and the future, but this is called present perfect. El presente perfecto lo que hace, y, y lo explico en español para que lo entendamos de una, así brevemente. Mm, nos da a entender una acción que inició en el pasado y todavía se mantiene. O que inició en el pasado y hace poco se detuvo. Entonces, para esto vamos a utilizar el auxiliar have. El auxiliar have ya sabemos que significa el verbo tener. Pero en este caso no significa tener, significa el verbo haber. Ahora, en es, es como cuando nosotros tenemos, por ejemplo, el, ver, el auxiliar do, ¿verdad? El does, do you like. En ese caso, el do y el does no significan mayor cosa, sino que solo ayudan a crear oraciones. Ahora, punto importante. En el caso del... Um, de las terceras personas, ustedes ya saben que se utiliza has. Siempre, aunque no significa tener, siempre es el verbo haber. I have, let me check here. Look. I have played soccer for 10 years. Yo he jugado, yo he 
jugado fútbol por 10 años. You have walked one kilometer. Tú has caminado un kilómetro. He or she. She has studied all night long. Ella ha estudiado durante toda la noche. Y así sucesivamente. We have talked about this before. Nosotros hemos hablado sobre esto antes. They have done the homework. Ellos ya han hecho el trabajo. Ahora, esa es una contracción. This is the contraction. Ok. No se confunda. Yo he, tú has, él han, ella ha, nosotros hemos hecho. Ustedes han hecho eso. Ellos han caminado. Entonces, todos los verbos que están acá van a ser pasado participio. Teacher, what is past participle? ¿Qué es el pasado participio? Teacher? Past participle is this. We have regular and irregular verbs. En este caso que tenemos verbos regulares e irregulares, the regular verbs are very easy. Los verbos regulares son bien fáciles, ¿verdad? Porque los verbos regulares solo le agregamos ed y ya para de sufrir. No hay ningún problema. Pero en este caso, aquí están. Verbos pasado participio. Teacher, ¿y qué es el pasado participio? El pasado participio siempre termina en ado, edo. Normalmente. Por ejemplo, estudiado, trabajado, comido, incluso ido, puede ser eh, verificado, revisado. Eh, y ahí, aquí, pues, prácticamente, tenemos también past participle, pero en el verbo de regulares, cuesta un poquito más porque hay que aprendérselos y cambian un poco, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, tenemos algunos que puede ser así, fall, fell, fallen, ¿verdad? Contrario de los regulares, que son más fáciles, que es dance, 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 ¿verdad? O el do, do, did, done. But basically, what we're going to use is past participle. Lo que vamos a utilizar es el pasado participio, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que estamos acá. Maybe one of you can have a screenshot, tal vez lo pueden tomar una captura. Esto es importante. I recommend you to do this. Y oculto mi rostro, no vaya a ser. Ok. So, this is like a list of regular and irregular verbs. Esta es una pequeña lista. This is a very short list, so you can have an idea. You know how to use present. You know how to use past, but here we have past participle. Pero tenemos el pasado participio de acá. Questions about this? Questions about past participle? Pregunta sobre el pasado participio. Teacher, solo, perdón ahí el español, pero... Adelante, sí, es que estos, estos temas son, son confusos y se puede tomar bastante tiempo, quizás unas tres clases, pero tenemos que avanzar, pero igual. Dime. ¿Verdad que, si no me equivoco, es el mismo pretérito perfecto compuesto, verdad? Compuesto, sí. El español. Sí, solo que Aunque el español... Se llama presente, es... Es, es el más amplio, es más amplio el español, porque está el plus compuesto y, y, y el, está el hubiere, ¿verdad? Hubiera, el, ajá, ese es el... Y, entonces, es, es bien... Digo anterior. Bien uh -huh. Sí, porque el entonces, plus compuesto creo que es había, ¿verdad? Yo había bebido, por ejemplo, uh -huh, cabe entonces, en este tiempo verbal. Sí, había bebido, ado, edo, Había ido. bebido y he bebido. Bueno, creo que es el pretérito perfecto. Sí, sí, pero en el otro, en inglés, sería el past perfect, el pasado perfecto. Yo había. Ah, no. Había. Habías. Ese es el sí. perfecto en español, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. El había. Y el he, por ejemplo, yo he bebido, es el presente, ¿cómo se llama el que estamos viendo ahorita? El presente perfecto. Ah, presente, ah, perfecto. presente perfecto. Eh. Okay, es bien, es bien. En el español es todavía tiene muchas más ramificaciones con el tema de, 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 de diagrama de, de, de árbol y de estudio es súper sí, com, complejo el inglés. Me queda claro. Ajá, el inglés mm. es un poquito más práctico pero aún así confunde sí, aunque confunde. sea un poco más eh, que sea menos complicado que a comparación del español pero siempre confunde 
Entonces, uh -huh. recordemos todo lo que termina en ado, uh -huh. edo, ido. ¿Verdad? Caminado, uh -huh. revisado, comido, bebido, este, jugado, um, lanzado. ¿Verdad? Pero está otro que es roto. Son excepciones. No se dice rompido. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. no, roto. Sino que ya hay, 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 hay ciertas excepciones. Pero en general, ado, edo, ido. Así se los digo a todos. ¿Verdad? Para que tengamos una idea, ¿verdad? Entonces, ok, uh, okay por ejemplo, aquí tenemos pagado, pay, pay, pay. Pay es okay. pagar. Pasado, pagaba okay. o pagó. Pasado participio, pagado. Eso ya está pagado. Yo ya he pagado. Ok. So that's it. Y no me voy a extender un poquito más con eso para la próxima clase, pero igual. Um, vamos a ver entonces lo que es el... que también le toman captura a esto. Eso les puede servir. Yeah. Consulta, yeah. ¿ya les habían explicado sobre present perfect antes? ¿Sobre presente perfecto? Yeah. ¿En los otros módulos? No. 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 Sé ok. No, ¿verdad? Posiblemente no, sí. Entonces mañana les voy a traer más ejercicios para que... Mm estamos como que más acostumbrados porque los ejercicios que da el manual a veces son, son muy útiles pero son como un poco limitados ¿verdad? así que bueno ¿cuál es la diferencia del presente perfecto con este que es el perfect modal? simplemente que le agregamos la palabra should, pero si se dan cuenta should. que tenemos el have y el past participle, past participle es el pasado participio Ado, edo, ido. Ok. Um, here we have, for example, uh, he should have plus past participle to talk about regress. Ok. I should have sent the report sooner. Yo debí haber enviado el reporte más temprano. I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. Yo no debí haber pedido a ella que cargara esas cajas, ok entonces sé que es un poquito complejo, pero mmm, voy a profundizar un poquito más sobre esto mañana, verdad, tenemos el could and would have are often used with el if I had en past participle verdad vamos a hacer algo, vamos a enfocarnos ahorita porque esto es this too much information Vamos a enfocarnos ahorita. Eh, no sé si enviaron esta información. Podrían verificar, please. El grupo de chat, no sé si la han enviado. No, si no la envío. Please, envíalo. Okay. Para que tengan. Ajá. ¿Ya la habías tomado? ¿Ya? Yeah. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, perfect. Le voy a. Le voy a poner unos ejercicios. Lo que pasa es que con esto del manual eh, sí está bastante útil, pero creo que ok. Ok, ya vamos a ir terminando. Solo vamos a hacer. Let me check. Solo vamos a hacer de la 1 a la 5 para avanzar. Ok. So, in this case, present perfect. ¿Qué le vamos a agregar en el espacio en blanco? We're going to add uh, just have or has. Oh. You know that oh. have. Yes, and then has. Oh. Y el verbo que está, the verb in, that is like in watermark, la que tiene marca de agua, this verb is in present, but we have to use past participle. Tenemos que utilizar el pasado participio para, okay. en, en estos casos. Okay? So, um, 
Let me see some volunteers. Just check to the list that you have in the WhatsApp group. Look for the past participle column. And let's try to do it. Morelia, you want to do some? From one to yes. six. Sorry? Num number one. Let's go with number one. Um, the boys given many problems. Okay. The have boys. Given. Yes, have. Given, yes. Eh, los chicos han dado muchos problemas. The boys have given many problems. Okay. Let's move. Uh, maybe any, any other? Just from one to five. We have two, maybe. three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, please. Okay, we have. Okay, we have yeah. Miguel. And we have. Uh, Ro sorry. Okay, Roxana and Miguel. Okay, Roxana, try. What number? It it has been. Yeah. Warm this week. Mm -hmm. ha, ha estado cálido esta semana, ¿verdad? Good, thank you. Eh, Miguel, do you have any option? Three, four, or five? Uh, they have preparing. Mm -hmm. Did they have prepared a letter of food? Mm -hmm. Good. What about four and five? Brandon, hi. Uh, number four. Mm -hmm. The group will, uh, has studied. In this case, could it be have because it's plural, but the pupil okay. has, but the pupils have studied. Yeah. Studied. Mm -hmm. Studied. It is studied. Definitely. Okay. Thank you. And for number four. Five. What about number five? Okay. The boy, the boy has after five. Okay. Yes. Fallen. Mm -hmm. Fallen of his uh, bike. El chico eh, se ha caído de su bicicleta. Okay. We're going to finish until here this, and we we'll go with the last activity. Okay. But I'm, I'm really, yeah, I'm really happy that you are getting this topic i know that it is kind of complicated but if you notice it is not that difficult it is that we have to pay attention to some keys okay tomorrow i'm going to present more exercises so you can have more options to understand this and with this part i'm sorry With this part about the manual, we're going to continue with tomorrow, okay? This part. We have to be clear about the present perfect. If we have a clear idea about the present perfect, we're going to do this. But if we do it without too much information or explanation, maybe we can have like a lot of doubts, a lot of uh, confusions, okay? So... To finish, we have a couple of minutes left. We're going to the last speaking activity, okay? Uh, what is the last lie you told? ¿Cuál es la última mentira que dijeron? I don't know. I know that you are very honest and you don't tell lies, right? But maybe it can be a white lie, una mentira piadosa. Tirita blanca, white light can be, please. Uh, please, I'm going to be waiting in the chat. And then let's move. And this is going to be the last activity. Okay, my friends. So I'm going to check the chat with your answers. Please text. Send it.
Let's listen, Morelia. Then Freddy's. Okay, Morelia. My, my last life. Um, I have been drinking a lot of water. Okay. And definitely you have been drinking soda or something like that? Uh, Coffee? No, I didn't drink soda, but I'm not drinking a lot of water. water. As you it's have. Less, yes, I need to drink more. Mm, but I don't like to go to the bathroom. Yeah, that's another something that is not that yeah. good. And it takes time and a lot of things, but water yeah. is life. Thank you, Morelia. Freddy's and Ernest. Um, this morning I say I didn't mm -hmm. have time to the job, but it could have done it. <laughs> okay, so to be honest, you could have done it, yeah. but you say I didn't have time. Okay. I hope your boss is not watching this. Thank you, Freddy. Okay. Ernest and Raquel. Today, when I say to my wife that I didn't want more pupusas, but yes. Yes, okay. You definitely wanted more pupusas. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Raquel and Nancy. Okay, if Raquel. The last evening, I told my mom oh, that I let work at night and let early. Okay, thank you. The, the last lie. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Raquel. Nancy and Miguel. My last lie was telling my boss that I had already este, sent, sent a, report. a report to a client, a client when I was about to send it to him. To him, okay, yeah. That usually happens when we have some lies to our bus. Thank you, Miguel and Vicky. Okay, uh, my last lie was once my friend asked me if I was afraid of something or someone, and I told them that I was not afraid of anything. But the truth is that it was a lie because we are always, always afraid of something or someone. Yes, maybe we want to look or uh, to seem that we are very strong and definitely we are strong but we have some weaknesses definitely thank you miguel nice nice um nice comment vicky and roxanne um uh, for me well i don't like i don't like i don't like to lie but the last lie i told was about some shoes that they gave me um i say i like it them but it is wasn't true <laughs> it wasn't true yeah we have to say it even if yes. we don't like some things right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank and you. you teacher and you teacher what what is the last like the last lie was oh, uh... yes. oh. <laughs> Maybe that similar to Freddy's, I said that I didn't have time to do something at my work, but I could have done it if we, but the, the, the point is that I, w I got up late in the morning. It was difficult to open my eyes. So mm -hmm. yes, I have some problems with the traffic and all those things, but that was the reason I wanted to sleep more, but. I'm so sorry for that. Sorry, my boss. I but... I remember you told us mm -hmm. that you don't sing, but you had a band. Yes. Ah, yes, yes. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> actually, yeah, I perform some other instruments, uh, but we have a singer. And he has a very good voice, but I am the guy 
who play some other instruments like uh sampoña, kena, that is kind of flute. Mm -hmm. So I, um, I am done. I am in church. Yes, I guess Maho uh, saw us playing some music a couple of years ago, but there are some videos, well, music, especially on YouTube. You can you you can look for Kenaya with K, con K, Kenaya. Um, that means forever in Nahuatl. That's the band. So This is the name, the band. Yes. Uh, yes, that's it. Thank you, Maho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you can you can play you can look for it on Spotify or or uh on YouTube and we have some music in Nahuatl but mainly we have instrumental music as well so that's it but okay. thank you thank you for the advertisement gracias por la propaganda majo <laughs> okay thank you Vicky thank you for the comments okay um perfect we are about to finish Roxana Brandon Okay, my last slide was that I said I had sent an email and I had not sent it. That's another, yeah, it happened to me as well. It's very common. Yes, I sent yes. an email, but in the bottom of your heart, you know that you didn't do it. And you <laughs> yes. say, look, look in the spam, look for the other. Come on, <laughs> definitely. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, okay. Brandon and Albert. Okay, and yeah, my sorry. In a second, okay. My last slide I told was to me wife that I wasn't going to drive fast anymore. But you do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Be careful, my friend. If not, you're going to fly like Superman, like the last time. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Albert in Maho. Okay, my, my last slide was that this guy was going going to the beach for the weekend. Okay, come on. So, well, you have to take advantage. Maho and Robert. My last slide, um, that it was I told my sister that it was my dad who ate the wings that she left in the refrigerator, but it was really me in the early morning. When you have siblings, not all things that you buy for you. Different. Oh, okay. It, it, it was really you. Come on, my hope. I know wings are like a temptation. Yes. I know it is like, there are you, there are the wings. So yeah, come on. It is a sin not to eat them. Thank you, Maho. Robert. And we finished. Mm -hmm. Okay, my last slide is uh, it's a great book of short story stories. A friend lent me a book, and the story are not very interesting. In fact, are very bad. <laughs> okay, now come on. <laughs> it's uh, something that is it it happened. Well, a friend of mine mm -hmm, took that, so that's it. Okay, and so the. There are um part of, of the, the the reading experiences. Thank you, my friends. Please uh, uh, leave a thumb up in the chat. That that's going to be your assistance, please. Um, and Roxana, can you stay uh, after the class for a couple of minutes, please? Okay. Yeah. Here we have Robert Maho. Roxana, Fredis, Morella, yes. In the chat, please. And my friends, see you tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? Take care. Tomorrow we continue with the topic, okay? Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Have a rest, my friend. Bye-bye. See you. Hey, thank you. Thank you to you, my friend. Okay, Roxana. Um, okay, teacher. Question to you. Um, do you have some difficulties with the platform or with a topic that we have studied? Maybe a topic no. that you consider is like complicated or vocabulary 
phrases, conversations? No. I don't no. know what happened to to me today because I was understand that I have to change the the sentence and ah, it no. was very easy. Eh, it oh, was very easy because uh no no problem. It happens. Come on, Roxana. Um the only thing was that there were two options. Okay, you have to select one. Yes. But it happens, Roxana. You are a really good uh student. Your English is really nice. I like your pronunciation, okay. your grammar. Did you study English in another academy or did you take any other English courses before? Yes, I studied English, but in 1997, mm -hmm. 1997. Mm -hmm. only in, in, for two years in Centro Cultural Salvador. Ah, Centro Cultural is, is a really good place. Okay. Yes, but I didn't finish um the TOEFL. I didn't pass the TOEFL. Yeah, because it was well, an opportunity to 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 make the another exam, but I didn't went yeah. to, to yes. Yeah, practically you, you, you have to you have to pay. I don't know if it is seventy five dollars or seventy I don't remember what is the the, the price. But uh, remember the TOEFL is very important. But it is not uh, it is not like a complete evaluation, in my opinion. You can mm -hmm. speak really good English and don't pass don't, don't yeah, don't pass the, the exam. So it it is not like a big deal. Yeah. But um after that, after that course, did you study in some other academy? Or no? You wait and no. you you oh really? But, no, but in the in my work, I um, I usually work, work write in English um, to my yeah. to the suppliers, and also sometimes I I talk with them in English, but mm -hmm. it's not too much a conver it's not too a large conversation. Okay, but I speak a little bit. Yeah, and is and that is just about work. You're not going to talk yes. about with your suppliers about personal things, right? Some other no. aspects of, of your of your life, but just practical English, right? Yes. Uh, very concrete. But that yes. helps you to have the confidence to be very sure to speak because a lot of people uh, are afraid. They don't want to speak. They get very yes. nervous. And I yeah, know it is difficult, but... Uh, I can notice that your English is really good, so congratulations. Because Thank you. Thank you. I know that even you started different levels in the past, you have even the information in, in, in your brain, but I try to present you and teach you new vocabulary, new phrases. Uh, with the speaking activities, I try that you and all the participants speak as much as possible. I hope you like the class because I try to 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 do it yes. like in different ways. I know it's difficult I, to I like it too much, teacher. I okay. like Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Roxana. I know it is really difficult to be in class after work, especially yes. at this time when everybody wants to to be having dinner or sleeping <laughs> or resting. But yes. I try to, to think as a student. And as a student, it is difficult to pay attention when you are tired. So I I try or I do my, my best for you to to be active in speaking. Yes, and the problem is the traffic jam because I travel from like in Fram. Mm -hmm. Ah yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yes. And the problem is the 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 traffic jam in the integration, mm -hmm. integration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very difficult. So I came to my house house at seven seven twenty seven fifteen. So I have to make the dinner very fast and yeah, very I fast. know, yes. I know. But even if you have to to 
to eat during the class, just turn off the camera and eat, Roxana, okay? I understand that. I know it, it, you are doing your effort and it is difficult, but thank you for, for being responsible and to be punctual, okay, Roxana? So um, we have just six more classes, okay? Yes. We're I about to uh, we, we We have you in another class. <laughs> mm -hmm. I the would next... like to. I would like to because your group is really good. I like uh, the attitude, yes. uh, like you're very responsible, and your English is really nice. So, yes, I have, we have fun, right, in the classes. Yes. So that's, that's the point. We have different experiences, opinions, and talk about English for work. But if we have this type of activities, maybe we can have some other vocabulary and practice more. That's the objective. Practice more, yes. Mm -hmm. that, that's the thing. Okay, Roxana, we're going to finish until here. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Um, let's see what okay. else we can do. Okay, have a good night okay. and rest, Roxana. Thank you very much, Good night. Thank you to good you, night. Roxana. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay.